So, imagine your parents deciding to further your language speaking skills by putting on a program about a fuzzy alien named Muzzy who loves to eat clocks. Lands in the kingdom of Gondoland in a spaceship where it is ran by the king, his queen, and his daughter, Princess Sylvia, who is the main love interest of the gardener, Bob, and is also persuaded by the king's evil scientist, named Corvax. Now, Corvax can't stand rejection from Princess Sylvia, so he decides to make a copy of her, which ends up making dozens upon dozens of copies. And it turns into chaos, and only Bob the gardener and Muzzy, whom Bob has met in jail, um, more about that later, are the only ones to be able to stop the whole chaos. Oh, and there's also a human named Norman. Muzzy in Gondoland was created by the BBC Network in 1986. It was created for educational purposes to teach children of immigrants English, following the success of their 1970s English crash course, Follow Me. Muzzy didn't automatically become a hit with their targeted audience, so Federico Malo, producer of Muzzy, who also sold Follow Me, came up with the idea to marketing it to English-speaking children. Thus, Muzzy came in Spanish, French, Italian, and German. It became a hit, especially with the commercial that we played over and over on television during the late 80s and early 90s. The whole language course package came in four videos, two audios, a script book, parent's guide, a CD-ROM, and a bonus video. And like I said earlier, it definitely had its exposure on TV, with the commercial playing over and over and over on Nickelodeon and, you know, kids that are now grown adults having several memories of watching the film in their classroom or just simply seeing the commercial on TV. So the movie starts off with Muzzy in his spaceship eating clocks. Yeah, and why he eats clocks, it's never explained. So he arrives in Gondoland in a spaceship and the scene proceeds to showcase a palace where the king, the queen, Princess Sylvia, Bob the gardener, and Corvex are all introduced. And also Norman the human, who is also the voice actor of Fowler from Chicken Run, which is like mind blowing because I used to watch that movie all the time. So a song is played where the phrases good evening and good morning and good afternoon is played and that's when the learning aspect comes in in part from the story where it cuts scenes to, of the main cast where they'll be chanting simplistic words or phrases. From learning numbers, the alphabet, days of the week, seasons, you know, all the basics. But the one thing that really makes Muzzy appealing to the audience is definitely the story between Bob, Sylvia, and Corvax. Basically a love triangle. Now Bob and Sylvia, Princess Sylvia, are in love, okay? Like they are about to elope when Corvax um, tattles on them and basically Bob is thrown in jail where he meets Muzzy. Yeah, I mean, Corvax wasn't with that. So he tries to get with Princess Sylvia and is promptly rejected. I mean, like, who can blame the girl? And that makes Corvax being able to make a clone of Sylvia. And then he makes dozens of clones. And what do you know? Um, it becomes chaos. One thing that you can get with kids by learning is music. There's a song that plays in the film, which goes A-E-I-O-U. I love you. Now the song plays when Princess Sylvia and Bob are riding in Bob's motorcycle. And let me tell you, it's such a cute little jingle. I just, I, I have to finish it off for you guys. A U O I E, you love me. A E I U O, off we go. I O U E A, far, far away. A U I O E, you love me. The Spanish version is good too. I especially like it when Bob goes, Mama knows, and him and Sylvia just ride off into the sky. Yeah, it's pretty good. There are other jingles that featured in the film, such as We Are Bob and Muzzy. I Can Walk was a bop, I'm not gonna lie. And there's also a goodbye song too. But nothing, and I mean nothing, can compete with A-E-I-O-U. That, that, that was just too good. 
Let's get back to the story. Bob is jailed with Muzzy, who is illegally eating parking meters, when they become friends. Both friends escape the jail and meet up with Princess Sylvia, who is outside exercising. All are unaware of Corvax's broken Sylvia machine. Sylvia soon finds out about them when getting food for the fugitives, when she accidentally bumps into several of them. Horrified, she goes on to tell Bob. And she's not the only one who notices that there are several of her around the kingdom because her parents are equally as horrified as they find out about the several Sylvias in the kingdom. And they go on to confront Corvax, who is basically useless and doesn't know what's going on. So the king tries to step up and try to fix the computer, but the king ends up inside the computer. Corvax runs away in a helicopter while Bob chases after him. Muzzy and the princess go off to help the king, and Muzzy helps by eating parts of the computer to help fix the problem. And you know what? The king is saved! Meanwhile, Bob and Corvax battle it out in the helicopter, with Bob ending up winning. And the whole Sylvia situation? Well, turns out Muzzy is a genius for some reason, and he ends up fixing the computer where all the Sylvias um, walk backwards and evaporate into the computer. Yeah, I mean, Muzzy, he got, he got smarts. Muzzy is rewarded by having Corvax hauling a lot of clocks into his spaceship, and good for Muzzy because you know what? He's been doing, he's been doing some good deeds. The film ends with Bob and Sylvia getting married and Muzzy is off in a spaceship. And you know, the cutest thing ever as I was rewatching it is that I realized that they sang the A-E-I-O-U song again and it's, it goes like this. A-E-I-O-U with the lyrics, Now we are together, I love you. The movie ends up with Muzzy flying away in a spaceship while the characters are saying their farewells. A newer CGI version was released in 2013 with some omissions of original scenes that are seen as problematic today. Additionally, Muzzy has a website where you can order language courses in Korean, Italian, German, Chinese, French, Spanish, and English. Oh, and I forgot to mention that there is a sequel called Muzzy Comes Back, where, spoiler, Bob and Sylvia get married and have a daughter named Amanda. And Norman has a lady friend now. What do you guys think? Do you feel like you can learn a language with Muzzy? Comment below and I'll see you guys next time with the next video. Bye!